Just like that, 2022 is coming to an end. Let's look forward and see the changes that are coming up and how they're going to affect the BC housing market next year. Number one, we have the ban on foreign buyers. And number two, the removal of strata age and rental restrictions. And number three, the home buyer cooling off period or the HBRP. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Joseph Goh, a realtor on Vancouver Island. I share my knowledge and experience in order to help you become a more knowledgeable consumer of real estate. So beginning on January 1st, 2023, the federal government has prohibited the purchase of residential properties by non-Canadian residents until 2025. This applies to direct ownership as well as acquisitions through holding companies. This may have an impact on some markets like Vancouver and Toronto, but will likely have minimal or no impact on smaller markets. There are already restrictions in place that make it more expensive for non-resident foreign buyers to purchase properties in BC. Foreign buyers also make up a very small portion of this market. It's estimated that non-residents only make up 1-3% to of the buyers that are out there. There are also two changes brought about by the provincial government. The first is the change to the Strata Property Act, which was passed on November 24th and came to, into effect then. So going forward, other than limiting residents to being older than 55 years of age, Stratas are not allowed to impose any other age-based restrictions. Hopefully, this will make more strata properties available to families with young children and make it easier for them to find homes. The other change to the Strata Property Act is the removal of rental restrictions. Strata properties can no longer include prohibitions or rental limits in their bylaws. The exception to this is Airbnbs or short-term rentals, which may still be disallowed. This should make more units available to renters, but may also have the unintended consequence of increasing the value of these properties. Previously, strata properties with rental restrictions had a smaller pool of buyers as investors were not interested in these. The lifting of rental restrictions would make these uh, properties more attractive to investors as well as owner-occupiers. The other change is the introduction of the home buyer rescission period or cooling off provision. This allows a buyer to change their minds and to rescind or cancel an offer to, to purchase within three business days of acceptance. There is a penalty of 0.25% which is payable to the seller if the buyer exercises this option. It's unclear what the immediate impact of this would be as this was introduced to protect buyers in an overheated market, but the real estate market has normalized over the second half of 2022, and buyers are now able to put in offers with subject conditions to protect themselves. This cooling off provision may become more relevant when the market heats up again in the future. This is Joseph Go, your go-to guy for real estate on Vancouver Island. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you have any questions.